in the circuit given below determine line currents here is 10 ohm resistance 20 ohm resistance and 30 ohm resistances are connected in a star and here we have to find out the current that is ir iy and iv and this voltage is applied voltage is 440 volt this is our balance three phase supply voltage see here this load is unbalanced so line currents will also be unbalanced that is they will not be at 120 degree and equal to each other each other if this voltage vry equal to 440 volts then vrn will be equal to 440y root 3 equal to 254 4.08 volts similarly vyn will also be equal to 0 0.08 volts and vbn will also be equal to 254.08 volt but this will be at angle of 120 degree with respect to each other so we can draw this following vector diagram this is v r n this is v y n and this will be v b n so if this voltage is neutral then this v n will not be equal to zero because this load is unbalanced had this load been balanced this v n would have been zero and we can straight away calculate the line current that is v r n divided by this load impedance but here neutral voltage is not zero so we will first calculate the neutral voltage and then we will find out the line currents c i r i y plus i b equal to zero because this is i r this is i y and this is i b and some of these three currents is zero because there is no path neutral no, or neutral available for feeding this current back to source. So we can write IR as VR and that is 254.080 degree minus VN divided by 10 plus 54.08 y y is minus 120 degree minus v n divided by 20 plus 254.08 that is v b n minus Vn divided by 30 will be equal to 0 right now in this equation we have only one unknown that is Vn so we can calculate this Vn so this we can write 254.080 0 degree divided by 10 plus 254.08 minus 120 degree divided by 20 plus 54.08 angle 120 degree divided by 30 equal to Vn 1 by 10 plus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30 right now these voltages or 
the terms on left hand side we can write like this this is vn into 11 by 60 and this we can write twenty five point four zero eight plus j zero this we can write minus six point three five two one minus j eleven point 0 2 2 and this we can write minus 4 point 2 3 4 8 plus j 7 point 3 3 4 8 we sum then we can write this is 14 point four nine seven one minus j three point six six seven four right so we can write vn as sixty by eleven Fourteen point four nine seven one minus J three point six six seven four equal to this becomes seventy point zero seven five minus J Twenty point zero zero four. So this will be the neutral voltage. Once we know the neutral voltage, we can calculate IR. IR equal to this. This expression is our. This expression is for IR. So by putting value of VN, we can calculate this IR. IR equal to two fifty four point zero four. 4.08 minus 70.075 plus J divided by 10. So by solving this we get 18.4 plus J2. If we convert it into polar form, then we get 18.5083. Angle is 6.20 degree. So this is how we can calculate IR and similarly IY will be equal to 254.08 minus degree minus VN divided by 20 right so this we can write minus 1260 Four two minus J two twenty point zero four three two and minus V and V N is minus seventy point zero seven five one plus J 
20.004 डिवाइडेड बाय 20 इफ वी सिंपलीफाई इट देन वी गेट इट्स करंट इज माइनस 9.8559 माइनस जे 10.00196 we convert it into polar form then we get 14.042 minus 134.57 degree so this is how we can calculate iy and iv equal to minus ir minus iy right because some of these currents is zero ib will be equal to minus 18.4 minus j2 and then this is iy iy is man plus 9.8559 and plus 10. Zero zero one nine six. So if we simplify it, then we get this current as minus eight point five four four one plus j eight point zero zero one nine six. We convert it into polar form, then we get eleven point seven zero six and One thirty-six point eight seven degree. So, dear friend, this is how we can calculate these three currents. I R equal to eighteen point five zero eight three. I Y will be equal to fourteen point zero four two. And I B will be equal to eleven point seven zero six ampere. So this is how we can calculate these line currents when load is unbalanced. Here we have only resistive load. If we have some reactive loads, then these currents will not be in phase with. a uh, vrn vyn or vbn this will be at some other angle and then our approach will be same we have to calculate the neutral voltage and then once we know the neutral voltage then we can calculate the line currents as given in this video dear friends thank you very much kindly subscribe to my channel